In Lesson 1.1, students look at a short video of kids playing on a rainy day, and they also look at pictures of cute characters using water in different ways. The idea is to have a discussion with students about where water comes from, the importance of water, and eventually get to the idea of rain. And where does rain come from? Students will make a model of a cloud and the tiny particles of water in the cloud that eventually make it rain. Let's take a look. In the lesson, there's a little printable sheet that has a cloud on it and the ground. And what you can do is just laminate that and give one to each group of students. And the idea is for them to put tiny drops of water all over the cloud to show that that's what a cloud is made out of. Tiny drops of water everywhere in the cloud. And that the drops are so tiny that they just stay up in the cloud. They don't fall. And students show that by tilting the card up and showing that the drops just stay there. It's a good idea to make the drops as small as possible. And then the question is, well, why does it rain? Well, what happens is you can explain that when there's enough water in the cloud, enough tiny little drops, and it's, when it's cool enough, they tend to come together and form bigger drops. And if the drops are big enough, they get heavy enough so that when the kids tilt the sheet now, it should rain. In other words, the drop should fall. So it's just a model to show that what a cloud is made out of and that when drops get big enough, they fall. Now there's one there that's not falling, but you can work with students to make big enough drops that they all fall. So then there's an animation you can show kids that will help explain what's going on up there in the cloud. You know, they've done the hands-on activity and made their own physical model. Now there's another model using an animation. We start at the molecule level. We talk about there's tiny, tiny little bits of water up in the cloud, the smallest bits of water that are possible, which are water molecules. We don't expect students to understand the structure of the water molecule, but just understand that a molecule is a tiny, tiny little thing that water is made out of. Then you can explain to students that the tiny little water molecules get together and make the little itty bitty drops that make up the cloud. And those are like the drops that the kids put on their paper. So then when there's enough of those tiny little drops and it's cold enough, they attract each other, get together and get bigger and heavier and then eventually, when they're heavy enough, they fall from the cloud as rain. And the last slide is just meant to show students that rain is an important thing, that it gives people, plants and animals, the water they need to live, and puddles that are fun to splash in. And this puddle will actually kind of lead into the next lesson, which is about why do puddles dry up. In the extend part of the lesson, students make another model. They take clay and form it into very tiny little clay balls and put them in the cloud as if those are the tiny little particles of water. And then the idea is that when there's enough tiny little water droplets in the cloud and it's cold enough, they come together and make larger drops. And eventually those drops will be big enough and heavy enough to fall as rain. And kids can do that just by taking the bigger drop and bringing it down to the ground. And that's good for the flowers and the grass that's down there and any animals that might come along. The NGSS standard KESS21 says use and share observations of local weather conditions to describe patterns over time. What we did here in In Korean Action for kindergarten is we focused on particular weather conditions and try to have kids understand the causes of different weather like rain, wind, snow. We presented the lessons from that point of view. So lesson 1.1 supports the standard because students look at the connection between clouds and rain and see that a pattern over time is that anytime it rains, it comes from clouds and there must be a reason. The foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, planning and carrying out investigations. So students use their observations that they looked at in the video and 
the model that they produced to try to understand the relationship between clouds and rain. What is that connection? For disciplinary core ideas, weather is the combination of sunlight, wind, snow, or rain, and temperature in a particular region at a particular time. We just focused in on the rain and what makes it rain. For cross-cutting concepts, cause and effect, events have causes that generate observable patterns. Students make models and observations to eventually understand that rain comes from clouds and what happens in the cloud is that water molecules create tiny drops of water. Those tiny drops of water come together to make bigger drops, which fall as rain. So thanks for listening and watching, and good luck with the lesson.